Jalen Mayfield was uh, going to return uh, this activation period. Uh, you know, what's that going to be like and what's that going to look like for you all at left guard officially? You know, it'll be good to get Jalen back out there, get him to start practicing, taking reps. Um, obviously, it's been a while since he's been out there, but it's, it's always exciting um, for us as coaches to, to get players back and to see them back on the practice field. And uh, just generally, uh, how's the group been performing? Y'all are uh, tops in the league and uh, one of the top teams running the ball and, uh, you know, uh, trying to I guess, get, you know, help out in the passing game there. Well, a lot, you know, the, the thing I always say about this group, I enjoy the way to come out and go to work. You know, the, don't get called up in, like, you know, where you are um, in certain categories. It's about what can I do today to get better. And that's one thing I really appreciate about this group is just the way they go out and they work. And, um, you know, th there's always constant things that's going to come up that we have to improve on, that we have to get better at. And that's the mindset, you know, that, that, that those guys have up front. And, uh, and I appreciate their work ethic and just how they go out and they're trying to correct the things that, that's happened the previous week or even weeks before and always looking to improve. And uh, what has it been like juggling at that left guard, Elijah was in, and you know, Tennessee, and then uh, you have to go back to Colby. What's that like and trying to keep the unit cohesive uh, uh, when they're, you know, you've got to juggle like that a little bit? Yeah, you know, the, the, the thing about it is we were able to get a lot of those guys uh, reps at a lot of different positions throughout training camp. Mm -hmm. And um, if, if you're not going into the season and you're one of the fives, like you have to be able to play multiple positions and to, to provide a lot of depth and, and just value to yourself. And so a lot of those guys will, move, will be moving parts. And you try to, you know, get some situations like that in training camp. And, you know, just like, hey, let's get so-and-so some reps here with the ones to, to make sure that they're good with their communication and everything. But it's, it's been, you know, when that happens, um, you know, the communication part, all that stuff, that week of practice is real important uh, for them to get their calls for, you know, if, if the love tackle is used to playing when, with so-and-so and, and he's down and the next person's up, you know, when that guy steps in, you don't want it to be a, a drop-off in the communication or what that guy felt from the guy that was there previously. And so we try to do a lot of training with those guys throughout the season as well to, to give them reps with each other. And so, but I mean, it's, it's part of the game. You're going to have injuries and um, it's, it's the next man up mentality. And those guys have stepped up and, and done a good job for us when they've had those opportunities. You know, it's that was um, it was amazing, and um, you know, Jake called early in the morning, and when you get a call early in the morning from a player, you don't know what to expect. <laughs> you know, um, you always have plans, and, and you know they were planning and hoping that it was going to happen later, um, but th th those are out of our hands, and um, you know. So thankful. I'm, I'm extremely happy uh, for Jake and his family. And, um, you know, for what he went through that day, and it's not just him, it's them as a family because uh, it's, it's both he and his wife. Um, that, that's something else. He wakes up, we travel up there, get in there that night, wakes up that morning, finds out uh, that Maggie's going into labor, so he's got to get back down, drives back down to the hospital, um, Thankfully, she has the, the baby, everyone's healthy, and uh, he gets back on a plane and flies back up to play in a game. And he played, and I called him uh, the day after, and he played really, really well. You know, and with everything that's going on in life to be able to do that, and, and um, I, I, I thought it was pretty remarkable for what, what he encountered that day. And still, as I saw him, I was kind of out in the tunnel, kind of waiting, just kind of, out there away from the noise of the locker room and then all of a sudden I see Jake running sprinting into the locker room because he's got to get through his, his you know getting dressed his tape and everything like that um, but I know that it was in, it was important for him um, he wanted to be able to do both and, and he and he was able to do that um, but first and foremost man it's just happy for them as a family and uh, that everything was great with it and um but it, it, was, it was quite the events for Jake on that day, that's for sure. Earlier you were talking about the cohesiveness of this offensive line. And Jake obviously having that streak of, of so many starts in a row, he's obviously been a veteran and a leader on this offensive line for a long time. How critical is that when you have a leader like Jake on 
Oh, it's, it's huge. He provides so much uh, for those guys. It's a comfort having somebody like that with that group up front. Um, somebody that has played at such a high level like Jake for so long for us up front. If to have him to be able to give the example or be the example for us up front on how to go to work, how to prepare, um, how to, to go out there and, and to, to do the things that we're asking them to do. And it's, it's a blessing for me as a coach to have a veteran like Jake in that meeting room, to be a part of that group. Because he's done nothing but everything that we have asked of him. And um, it, having him is, is a huge asset. And, uh, but it, it's awesome. That, it's a tight-knit group. You know, they have, they have a, a very strong relationship with each other. And I think that's important with those guys up front. And um, I think the more cohesive you are with one another up front, I think the better you'll play. And, um, and so I think that's a big part of it. And, and Jake is a, a, a big reason for that with the things that he tries to do with the group to get them together a lot. Well, I'm a very outdoorsy type person from Western North Carolina. Enjoy hiking and getting outdoors. So um, I love taking care of my yard in the summertime and, and landscaping. And so I'm always going to, to lean more towards uh, natural grass, you know, and it's just, um, just because that's just the type of person I am. But I mean, whatever the, 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 the surfaces are, we got a job to do, let's go out and do our best. You know, and, and so there's some, like the, the venue that we get to play in, um, you get back, you just step on that field and you, t you take a step back and just look how magnificent that place is. And we're very fortunate to be able to play in the, the place that we get to play in on Sundays. And so regardless of whatever that surface is, let's go get our, let's, let's go do our job. Yeah, because regardless of how much you do, like, with the conditioning aspect right. of it, when you're pushing on another individual, that's a different type of conditioning. Right. And so it, it, ta it, it generally takes some time. Um, how much time, that kind of depends on that athlete. And so the, the, I, I think there's no, like, you can't say, well, we're, we expect a week, a two, or whatever. It might be sooner than what we anticipated. Um, but that's all kind of depending with him. I know he's been working hard in the weight room to get to this point. And so we're, we're excited to see him out on the field today. How do you, uh, you may have been asked this as well, but how do you handle with the low snap issues that you see him cropping up? <coughs> that's something that you got to continue to work with the, the, the centers, making sure they're following through with the snap, uh, making sure that you know, they're not, they're not dropping their hips lower when they're snapping the ball, when they're looking up to make a call or something like that. Um, Drew's done a really good job snapping throughout the season. And, and so I, I know those are the things that, when he looked at the film, those are some of the things that he, right away he, he knew uh, this is what I got to do to correct that. And so when we get out on the field today, and that's the good thing about this group is, they take that day of corrections that we go over and they really try to apply it that next week. And so I, I, as soon as we get up here in center quarterback exchange, even beforehand, you'll see Drew out there extra working with his snapping to correct those problems that he had with it. So, I mean, it, so it was a hip issue? That, was it his hips then or was it, his hip, was he, was it an anxious It can be a, a lot of different. It could be um, a thing of where, where he just forgot to follow through or he didn't hit the target that he was trying to hit on his inner, inner leg as, as he's trying to follow through. Or he may have dropped his bottom a little bit lower than what he normally would, which means he couldn't follow through as much. All of those could play a factor in it. Was there something specific? In no, terms nothing of, in, in terms specific. Of that, was it consistent or was it a different one? It was, and it was a little bit of a, a, a lot of different things with it. So. Was the weather part, I mean, because that was a Carolina weather. I don't think so. Okay. I, don't, I don't think you had to do anything with the weather with it. No, but we, we, we practice wet balls and, and 
you know, using a wet ball during practice, stuff like that, when we know that there's going to be some elements in the games and stuff like that. So I don't think that had anything to play with it. Anything else?